First question is from Tabish K. How do you know when you've re reached your genetic potential and what is the age that most people reach it? Oh, the, Have you uh, read anything on that? The golden question. Like yeah. The, like the age that most people would reach it or a years of training consistently that you would reach it? Yeah. I mean, if you look at like top, it depends on the sport and it depends mm. on obviously what you're looking for. If you're looking at like body muscular development, you're probably for men somewhere in their mid, early to mid 30s uh, uh, of long training. So probably early 30s. Some sports people reach their peak in their 20s. Like, you know, if you're looking at a combat sport, you don't see too many high level combat artists that are, you know, or, you know, or athletes that are, you know, over the age of 34, it starts to kind of decline. But you know what's funny about this question is your genetic potential changes based off of your circumstances in the context right. of your life, right? So what is your genetic potential when you're lacking sleep? What is your ge genetic potential when your programming's off? What is your genetic potential when absolutely everything's perfect? And that's what people want to think of. They think of genetic potential as being, what's the absolute furthest I could take my body mm. when everything is perfect? Now, we've been working out for a long time. Let me ask you guys a question. When in your life has every absolutely every aspect of your life been perfect yeah. for developing <laughs> your physique? Yeah, That's why this question is kind of one of those Yeah, three. well, I mean, the closest I ever was there was the, that three-year run of competing if mm -hmm. I, where I could say like I was really checking most all the boxes. But even then, you could definitely go in there and pick apart things that I could have optimized or done better um, to continue. So, yeah, I don't think uh, – it's funny because I know a lot of people probably have – reach close to their genetic potential because you've been training for 10, 15 years yeah. consistently without really having too much off. And so you're, you've probably reached kind of the peak of how much total lean body mass, maybe if we're just talking purely muscle, yeah. but as far as optimizing your overall health, performance, longevity, you know, muscle, body fat percentage. I mean, there's always so much room to continue to improve everywhere. Yeah, it's a hard thing to kind of pinpoint because for me, it was always like what I was doing was then transferring out to uh, sports performance. And so like, and, and I was only playing sports up till college and then that was it, you know? And so I didn't really have a good gauge of like when that sort of declined. Although my last year I did feel a bit of a, uh, uh, a bit of a decline, but that was mainly due to circumstances and, and me and my consistency kind of leading up into the season with that. But like in terms of like the weight room, I've had, I've, it's been all over the place. Like I felt like the last, you know, five years have been some of my best years of lifting. Now, when we get a question like this, what do you guys think spurs this? Like, what do you think? Why do you think this person is at? I mean, well, we're totally speculating. I know we me don't know. when I used to really wonder this is I wanted to know what I could accomplish. Like, what's my limit? How far can I take my body? Oh, see, now I think uh, I remember thinking this, and I think that when you hit a really hard plateau, mm. people start asking because they're wondering, sure. like, oh, this maybe this is it for me. Sure, you know, right. I've already added so much muscle. I've been training for five plus years or whatever. You know, I'm curious to know, am I, maybe I'm reaching yeah. my genetic potential this right is a, now. This is a trap. I mean, I, I mean, speak, personally speaking, my, my PRs and my lifts happened in my early to mid thirties, I would say. That's when I hit like some of my heaviest lifts. But let me tell you why this is a trap. If you're always training for the end result, you're going to be disappointed at some point because at some point you get older, at some point you can't possibly get stronger. Otherwise we'd have seven year olds, you know, deadlifting 5,000 pounds or whatever. At some point things are de going to decline. How do you stay consistent? Yeah. The way you get, you stay consistent is you enjoy the process. You have to enjoy the, the workout for the workout itself. Otherwise you're screwed because you're going to get stuck in a situation where you're like, Oh my God, my body now is going backwards. Well, Cause I'm 50. Think of it or, like this. It's like a, a professional athlete asking, you know, where, when I'm, when am I going to max out at getting better? Yeah. Like at some point, if you're a pro, okay, you're probably at towards the top, but you don't ever stop practicing yes. and trying to get better and improving every aspect. And there's different metrics there though, too. Like say it's not the physicality, but like your game smarts, yes. like put you ahead of everybody else because of the time that in the reps you've put in. And so I just think that it's, it's all based off of what you're sort of determining this. Cause for me, it would be like, if I read this question and I, it would probably be like my twenties because like, I didn't think about anything 
you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, I was at my peak and then, you know, everything I did built muscle and then it just sort of like tapered. I had to then really pay attention to what I was doing. And if you look at studies, I mean, actually, I I read this the other day. It's interesting. I read an, it was an article. Maybe I saved it. But anyway, it talked about the peak age for different uh, abilities. Like the best age for learning new languages, Mm. I think was seven or something like that, right? The peak age for earning potential for men, 48. So 48 oh, generally, cool. I know, isn't that cool? Because yeah. we're all, you know, 40. the yeah, peak age for, years. now that makes you're sense. You're fucked, Doug, though. We're <laughs> not going to be able to pay you anymore. Just I mean, you're at your all time high there, buddy. Damn it. Yeah. 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 Even if we do better, you're tapped. Yeah. I think the peak <laughs> age for like winning a Nobel Peace Prize was like 60 something or whatever. Or, anyway, it's it's all very interesting, but there's a lot of factors that go into it. You, you said something very interesting, right? Who's that? The quarterback that's like in his forties, Tom Brady. Yeah, and he was just crushing, right? Yeah. And how old was he? How old still is? He? is. He he's still in his is 40s? crushing. Yeah, he's in his forties mm-hmm. now. Right now, is it because physically he's probably is he more is he faster than he was when he was in no his late definitely 20s? not. He's more efficient and he's smarter. Yes. He's wiser, yeah. I should say. Right? No, it's a great analogy because I definitely know that I've probably seen like the most muscle, and I may mm-hmm. never even ever get to that point again in my life. But even today, uh, the things that what I improve on is I less effort and I can achieve mm-hmm. similar or better things than I was able to achieve when I was 20 something. Mm-hmm. So even if I like can say that I've seen the most muscle mass or reached the genetic potential of how much muscle my body can carry, I've gotten smarter and wiser about how I get there. Yeah. And, and, and it's taken less effort to maintain a physique that I was hammering myself for in the, my 20s trying to reach. So there's other parts that you continue to get better at, even, even if you've reached your max muscle yeah, You know potential. how to quickly adjust on the fly, yeah. you know, to stay ahead of these plateaus or you know, aches and pains. Like there's just, there's a lot more playbooks that you've acquired, uh, you know, to navigate through all that stuff. Yeah, well, here's a good example. Uh, the, a man's, generally speaking, a man's testosterone, right? The anabolic hormone testosterone peaks at about 18. It's rare to find an 18-year-old that will build more muscle than a 29-year-old, right? If they it, both same training, experience, and all that stuff, 29-year-old typically will build more muscle than 18-year-old. So there's a lot more that goes into this than just hormone levels and physical whatever. There's there's your wisdom and your application. But again, yeah, this is a trap because at some point, Father Time is going to slap you in the face. And if you're constant, if you're so focused and obsessed with the end result, you will be in a whole world of pain. You will eventually f- find yourself stopping because you're going to feel like, what's the use? I can't get any faster. I can't get any buffer. I can't look any better. No matter what I do, my body ages. You have to, at some point, just love the process for the process itself. Otherwise, you're going to be totally screwed. Agreed. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.